Good day, everyone. My name is Arslan, and uh, the topic we have for today is uh, what is the difference between PCC and uh, RCC in construction? So, you know, PCC and RCC both are a sort of mixture or a sort of concrete uh, or, uh, you know, a type of concrete that is prepared on site. But, you know, there are a few different uses for both of them and, uh, you know, we have different you could say uh, elements or different components in which we specifically use um, either PCC or RCC and uh, the composition of both of them also differs all right so but as a whole both of them are sort of concrete or sort of mixture that is uh, very often used on the construction sites right so let's get started with our topic and uh, as you can see we have a table on our top left side which in a way are you know all the main differences between both of them and i've tried to make it as easy and as simple as possible so as you can see the first point we have uh, there are a total of three columns and uh, uh, the first column is you know the points or the main topics and then we have the pcc column and the rcc so the first one is the definition so PCC stands for plain cement concrete and RCC is reinforced cement concrete. And then we have rebars. So, so you know the composition of PCC, within the composition of PCC, uh, steel bars, bamboo or aluminum are not included, all right? And uh, in the case of RCC, steel bars, bamboo or aluminum are included, all right? So, you know, within a mixture concrete is the compression property of a mixture and uh, you know these three either steel bars bamboo or aluminum are the tension side of the the mixture right so concrete is the compression you could say you know the compression side and these steel bars or these bamboo or aluminum bars are the tension side of our mixture right so in PCC, we don't have uh, the tension components, which are steel bars, bamboo, and aluminum. And in the case of RCC, uh, we have the, the tension component within our mixture, which can be either steel bars, bamboo, or aluminum. And uh, recently in our sites, personally, we, are, we have even used fiberglass uh, bars, all right? Fibergla uh, fiberglass steel bars. So... I think I'll add that later. And similarly, in the fourth, or you could say the third point is the strength. So in the case of PCC, it is weak in tension and strong in compression because concrete is strong in compression and it's weak in tension. So that's why we add steel bars, which is on the right. So that's why it's called RCC reinforced. So in the case of RCC, it is strong in both compression and tension because it has concrete and it has the steel bars and concrete is strong in compression and steel bars are strong in tension. So in the case of RCC, it's it's a combination of strength, right? So it's strong in both compression and tension. And uh, the density uh, for PCC, we have 2,400 kgs per meter cube. So which means that uh, if we have a meter cube, uh, a cube of one meter by one meter by one meter, its weight is gonna be 2,400 kgs. And uh, in case of RCC, it's 2,500, which is very close, both of them, but roughly 2,400 and 500, right? So, and the recommended grades, or you could say the grades which are often used for PCC mixtures are M5, M10, M15, and uh, M20. And for RCC, it's M20. Uh, you know, let's remove M20 from the side. So, M20, M25, M30, and M35. And even in IS 456-2000, it says that M20 is the minimum grade for RCC works, right? So that's another point. M20 is the minimum grade. And uh, when it comes to the usage, mostly used for floor beds, you know, the first uh, building pad or the first floor bed, that's usually PCC. And uh, RCC is for every other component, retaining walls, shear walls, walls, or slabs or beams or columns and uh, you know let's even add C O L M U N S columns so when it comes to the thickness 
uh, it's usually between 50 mm to 75 mm and I've even used 100 mm right but 50 to 75 mm I think that's uh, in most cases that's what the thickness of PCC is and uh, for RCC it depends on the design codes all right so it can differ when it comes to the columns it can be 9 inches or 12 inches or 15 or 18 inches and then it, but it depends on design codes there's no specific value then the braking mechanism of PCC is usually uh, it usually blasts or it's very sudden and catastrophic because it has no steel bars inside so it makes sense and it collapses without any warnings right so it suddenly clack uh, it suddenly cracks and uh, there's a catastrophic you could say uh, breakdown of the structure so it's very dangerous in case of RCC we we have steel bars and they're tensile steel bars are they have a very good uh, tensile strength onto them so they have a slow collapse and uh, you know initially cracks are developed and uh, then it slowly fails uh, but there is no catastrophic failure all right it slowly fails but not in a catastrophic way uh, for the deflection in PCC we have very less deflection in RCC we have more deflection and uh, even deflection is linked with the tensile strength of steel bars so it deflects and it doesn't suddenly break because of the steel bars right so there's no catastrophic uh, bending it bends very slowly which is called deflection it means it doesn't break it uh, returns back to its original position after its after the deflection ends i hope i i make sense and uh, for the cost pcc is economical from 10 to 18 meters and after that it's not so in a way it's uh, it's span and money are linked and uh, you know let's add span here economical from a span of 10 to 18 meters and uh, for RCC it's economical for a span of less than 9 meters and uh, for the units both of them are the same which is meter cube or feet cube uh, cubic meter or cubic feet and uh, for the ductility uh, PCC has very poor ductility because it has no steel bars inside and the ductility means you know um, its ability to be hammered into different shapes so of course PCC has no steel bars in it so it's completely non ductile and for RCC it is ductile but uh, again up to a very small limit all right so it's ductile but for a very small uh, you could say a limit so that's why i've written weak uh, for rcc and for pcc there's no ductility at all because it has no steel bars inside and uh, similarly similarly as you can see we have uh, a few pictures so this is uh, the floor bed which of course uh, is pcc and uh, the initial bed Similarly, the second picture, that's it's RCC reinforced cement concrete. And uh, even the other pictures represent steel bars and concrete, right? So this was our short topic. What is the main difference between PCC and RCC within our construction sites? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from it. Uh, thank you so much and uh, stay tuned with us.